Hello, hello. Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So let's discuss what uh, the big guys were doing today uh, during the live market hours and uh, what we are expecting next. So uh, as we like uh, always discuss that the Fridays are mostly like uh, during uh, Friday the big guys make new positions. Okay, so uh, the move might not follow immediately on Friday or it might give some problem uh, because if they are making short positions, they might further take the market up to make further short positions. So that's why like you can't rely very much upon the big guys on Fridays. But today what happened was both the sides, they were uh, like the writers. Okay, they were mostly writers. Uh, they were put writers and call writers uh, during this uh, time period. And uh, yes, uh, I, I notified it on Twitter as well. So. Talking about uh, today's trade, so like uh, I was mostly, uh, I mean, I posted uh, all the things on Twitter today. So uh, 23,600 C bought at 105, 3,500P bought at uh, 115. Uh, just look at the time, 10.58. So 10.58 was uh, here. Uh, so that is 10.50. So this, just uh, this uh, bottom one. So if you look at here, that is uh, Nifty was at around uh, 23,505. Okay, so from there it went to 23,558. So more than 50 points move. And uh, here, uh, even if you look at the uh, look at the post on Twitter, I made. So I I made a lot of posts today. So yes, uh, talking about the posts I made here. Look at the time of that post. So this one. So look at there, it's 11.04, so uh, till even there also like uh, Nifty was consolidating. So this is the candle from 11 uh, to 11.05 and it came down and I posted it on Twitter. And uh, then after that you uh, saw that 50 points up move and it was a good short move uh, like on Fridays. And then after that, after that uh, things started going down, okay. So money flow played a, an important role like if you see here that is the big guys in the morning. Uh, but nifty uh, money flow was going uh, like higher up so basically in the morning some put writers were active but then after that like the score went below negative zone and uh, it was indicating that both the side uh, put writing bhi chal raha tha or call writing bhi chal raha tha. so and uh, then after that like uh, at this moment like uh, 1058 i went long because the money flow was in oversold region. It went to my negative 91 suddenly and it was in oversold region. And then after that, the score started recovering and it went up that 50 points up move it gave. And then look at 1229. So just before the big fall. So 1229, it went to an, again the negative zone. Okay. And then after that, again, Nifty, like if you see here, that is 1230. So after that, Nifty again started falling. So I uh, uh, yes I I posted that on Twitter at 12:43. So even after 12:43 also Nifty gave a 40 points move down. But after that, uh, like when everyone is was expecting that we will have further fall. So I said that we are not going anywhere. Okay, so we are not going anywhere. And then because why? Because both the side writers are present. And I also told on. Uh, uh, on the channel as well that is call writers were given a nice exit so uh, in the money call writers were trapped and they got exit and now it was time for the put writers who made fresh put writing positions to uh, for them to take exit okay so i told this before the move came so if you can see uh, 1339 so 1340 so it was here so look at here that is 13 uh, 1339 to 1340 so here uh, was the candle okay and after uh, like uh, here i said that we are now put writers will be given exit and just after that like things started moving up but then again it went down and up and so uh, what happens is that these days i did not trade further as these days are the ones where you uh, like l i mean any side move suddenly can come and uh, why because these guys are making have made straddles so it doesn't matter to them if there is like violent move on both the sides and ultimately like the index moves nowhere okay so uh, th yeah so that's why like i did not trade further for talking about bank nifty bank nifty indicator also like uh, it was in the neutral zone if you look at the scores and then here it went negative at uh, th uh, 1 pm and then after that again the score uh, came up and uh, almost like stayed 
in the neutral zone so uh, the main point being here is that the neutral zone is because of both side uh, the writers are present that's why and uh, so i repeatedly told like many times i told that we are like i i i drew this channel for you and finally like uh, as you can see nifty is also ending in that channel so 23500 so there the straddle guys are there but i noticed something at the end where which i also notified that is the put writers they were mostly escaping and uh, that was and that i also told uh, before the market ends like uh, third uh, 329 okay so uh that is also being reflected in the eod data as well so now let's go to the eod data and discuss so again i hope uh, my analysis help you also uh again uh, if you want such analysis you can be a part of the derivatives indicator group and uh, again let me tell you that uh, this sell is only till today and uh, from tomorrow onwards the uh, membership price is going to increase and uh, it's going to be uh, 24999 and similarly the other 6 months and 9 months are going to increase at uh, the same rate so uh, <coughs> anyways the point being here is that uh, if you want to catch the big guys you are almost welcome to uh, uh, in the derivatives indicator group and uh, otherwise like uh, you see that uh, you can leave it and uh, you can follow your own analysis as well but these guys i have uh, like uh, these days i have shown you that the best is like you catch them you ride with them and uh, you get a nice move and uh, and then like you close uh, in profits or whatever you want to do if you still want to ride with them you can trail your profits so there are many ways but the main uh, thing is that you have to enter with them because <coughs> try to think like talking about technical analysis technical analysis these days don't work much so if you look at here that is when day's low was breaking so everyone would have been bearish but then it shot up by na- like almost the same it came down so that's why like uh, these days i have seen that uh, technicals like i have followed uh, technicals uh, like way back and uh, i have stopped it for now because these hft guys whenever they are uh, taking position so <coughs> i also take and that helps a lot so and uh, not only that i am not claiming anything i have proven this uh, over the period of uh, like for the past 2 years i have been doing this and also post analysis during the live market hours on twitter as well so uh, on x so uh, that you get the confidence that i can do it and yes uh, and after that if you want such analysis you are almost welcome now let's come to the eod data so eod data some long positions are getting closed on the uh, on the futures side but not in heavy quantity but the prop decks yeah they have closed in heavy quantity let's talk about uh, the option chain so option chain if you look at here that is pro- fii's they have made like put riding positions so they were having more put riding positions than this during the live market hours and uh, talking about the prop decks the prop decks they have like closed they put riding positions as you can see okay so that's what i also said before the market ends that the put writers have uh, uh, i mean they are escaping okay and uh, talking about here that is we have these uh, call writers as well so call writing by the fis and the prop decks and uh, put writing by the fis and uh, put buying by the prop decks okay so what they have done is like i think they have uh, covered their put writing positions but kept their put buying position so uh the thing is that now let's talk about uh, the overall overall if you see that uh, if i is a put writers and call writers talking about prop decks they are also like call writers overall and they are put buyers okay so <coughs> only one, uh, prop decks are put buyers but that too like not in very heavy quantity so that like they can if if they think that market will be again going up they can do put writing and again like go along with it so the thing is that uh, today mostly they made straddles and uh, uh, finally like you know that market uh, like gave both side moves and uh, ends flat so uh, end fl- ends flat means like uh, if you, if you consider from this time onwards like this time onwards okay so uh, like uh, the morning fall yes i uh, uh, i agree so leave the morning fall after that after that just check like uh, during this time i mean this zone basically nifty traded for quite a long time okay so uh, 
uh, the thing is that yes now let's uh, disc uh, so yes I have discussed everything so let's go to the option chain so option chain if you look at here that is even in yesterday's analysis also I have shown you that uh, the in the option chain that is uh, like uh, I mean the call writers and the put writers both were present and uh, they, they, I mean they have made straddles now uh, talking about uh, the thing that is what's now now is like if you see the put side is looking weak and uh, the on the call side it's like um, the call writers are there but that too I don't see much confidence in the call writers many call writers big call writers also have booked profits but uh, so that's what the main thing is that put side is looking weak but uh, call side is not like heavy call writers are there or something so I would consider this as a mild bearish uh, uh, se uh, sentiment not a huge bearish sign or something so now let's come to the bank nifty so bank nifty if you look at here that is uh, bank nifty also like if you see the put side right uh, put side are closing I mean uh, uh, far out of the money also like the put sides are closing uh, and but again uh, on the call side also if you do uh, see like uh, 51,000 like 52,000 so they are like uh, uh, sorry 51,500 52,000 so these are the call writers uh, that have come into the picture but as I have been telling you like uh, not hugely like uh, huge call writers are present but uh, you can't do anything about it because uh, it's a weekend so I think um, majorly they didn't take a huge position uh, overnight and uh, so again uh, my view is ultimately like slightly bearish and uh, that's the thing and my final verdict would be sell on rise and yeah that's it for this video so again if you want uh, to catch the big guys during the live market hours so uh, be a part of the radio design negative group and uh, thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one